What? Why would this happen? Oh, that's normal. A grounding failure could cause the module attack by the lightning. That's horrible. How could this kind of situation be avoided? Normally, we will include a grounding clip on mid clamp. Once mid clamp is installed on rail, the pins on grounding clip will penetrate the analyzing film on module frame and rail. In this case, extra electricity on module uh, will be distributed from the module frame to rail. After installation of all modules, a grounding lug will be installed at the end of the rail and then connected to the grounding cable. Now the electricity will be distributed from the rail to the ground. Wow, but this is how they do for earthing? Um, that depends because there are many different systems. For example, for the steel structure, they may normally uh, drill a hole to connecting the uh, grounding cables. But in Antai, we're using the grounding clips and plugs. That's the easy way uh, with the global client feedback. Bravo, now I get it. What about you? <gasps> Why tall with thunder these days? Well, suppose you already know about the grounding principle. Then see you in the next video of what information is needed for solar grounding mounting design. Qué información es necesaria para el diseño de estructuras solares. Síguenos y nos vemos en el siguiente video. Saludos. Chao, chao.